Okay, so today's plan is to leave from my mooring across Plymouth Sound and then end up at uh, Eddiston Rocks. The weather is supposed to be better today than it is tomorrow. Um, had a weather report from Long Room saying it's blowing about 15 knots and the flag of truth is saying about the same I should say. So I'm going to leave with uh, one reef and my jacket on. And yes, the camelback is secured. Just heading across the hoe on this tack. And if we scan round to the outside the sound, it's looking a bit grey and murky over there, which is where I want to go. Have to keep an eye on that may have to change the plan just heading across the uh, north of the breakwater gonna check on the weather as the um, long room in reported a increase in the wind so let's see if we can get uh, rain head okay there's been there's been a slight increase on the wind the gust is still only 15 knots. Barometer says it's increasing, so hopefully the, w the wind should decrease. So I think we're still on for Eddiston at the moment. Ticking along quite nicely. Had to avoid uh, a couple of dive boats around Breakwater Fort. Well, here we are, just north of the Breakwater at the western end. Had a look at the weather from Ramehead. Barometer is increasing. The wind, tiny increase, but not too excessive at the moment. So I think we're still on going around Eddiston. Um, it's looking a bit wet. Just off uh, Penley Point. So... Uh, well, we'll take a look at it. We'll probably just have to sail through it. It's about nine and a half miles to the first waypoint around Eddiston Rocks. So at the current ground speed of four knots, it's going to take me roughly two and a half hours, which is going to be one o'clock in the afternoon. Here comes the rain. So it's definitely wet off uh, Penley Point so I'm hoping that it's just these small showers and it does indeed look like the uh, there's a bit of sunlight just around Rame Head. Uh, the weather radar was telling the truth it's just a short sharp shower looks like the weather's clearing up a bit but what we also don't want is for the wind to die off. The weather from Rainhead is now up to date. It's showing at 14 knots and the high is 20. So that's a lot less than uh, it was when I was out oh, a couple of weeks ago, so we're still good to go. The weather is clearing up, the wind's dropped a little bit. Unfortunately, so is my bottom speed. If the, if the bottom speed gets to three knots or less for a considerable amount of time, I'll just have to shake out the reef. A bit more blue sky now. There's still quite a bit of swell with a little bit of chop on it. The bottom speed is changing from, well, it goes down to three and a half, but then it, sometimes it can get all the way up to six and a half. Approximately seven nautical miles to go. And the arrival time now is approximately just after one o'clock. So we've speeded up a bit. Turned out to be quite a good, uh, quite a good sail. 
I was going to say good evening there, but that's just bizarre. It's going to be one boring tack all the way there. But it's the quickest way to get there, I guess. To be honest, I'm quite glad I didn't shake the reef out. I'm getting enough power as it is. Still on course. Now looking at the weather at Raymed, the um, wind speed is about 17.4, but the max is still well under the limit, for me anyway. Let's have a look at the graph. That's the sustained wind speed. Gusting. Barometer is still fairly steady, which is good. That side temperature took a little dip. I think that was because of the rain that went through. Handheld GPS now saying 5.7 nautical miles to go and uh, we're going to get there just before one o'clock so the average speed is uh, increasing which is good still on the same starboard tack for some reason went through a bit of a lull in the wind and my bottom speed got down to about two and a half knots uh, it looks like it may have picked up a little bit bottom speed's now four knots Approximately 1.8 nautical miles away from Eddiston Rock and half an hour to get there. Looks like I'm going to be on the east side of the reef, which is good for me. On a port tack, just to the north of Eddiston Reef Lighthouse. Damn typical. As I'm getting closer to the rock and trying to go round the back of it, the wind's dropped off quite a lot. Might be time to uh, shake the reef out. Shaking the reef out, bottom speed's now back up to four, four and a half, possibly five knots. Successfully we made it around the back. Cruising along at a comfortable five knots. I'm currently hove to and I'm drifting at about 1.8 knots. And I thought I had a bit more time to eat lunch before I hit the rocks. 